Hello guys and welcome back to Bus Simulator 2016. In this episode today we're going to do a few things. We're going to establish a new route and we're going to drive it. We're going to hire a driver and then sign them to one of our routes. And we're going to drive that route at the same time as our other driver. So we're going to hop in. We're going to create the route right away. Get it going. I think what we're so to do that we're going to go hit the create button. And now you can see the game is telling us how to create our route for this one. So we're going to just handle that for right now here. And where does it want the next one? There, up there. All right. And then back down here, which does not make sense. Why would it do that? That is dumb. So we're going to do here and then here. There we go. <laughs> That's how we're going to do that. So like I said, the game has you click here, 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 and here. But when you do here first and click here, it has you go all the way around, which is not worth it so we did one two three and four like that so it is allowed you can do it and it'll be perfect so we'll save that um, we don't want to drive it right now only because I'll tell you why is because we can knock out the driver doing the route at the same time while we drive this route so that's why we're going to do that so let us go here we're gonna hire a driver as you can see here's our applicants and let's see who we got here. We got Carlo Mayer. Mayer maybe began an apprenticeship as a baker. Some experience as a taxi driver. I think Still Life Studios is awesome. Of course you do. We got Burned All Stipator. Started four different bachelor's degrees. Fast driving experience as a getaway driver. And can't differentiate between red and green. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Burned. You are definitely out. And we got Finn Schuber, started as an actor and couldn't handle the fame. No bus driving experience at all, really likes spicy chocolate. Interesting, I didn't even know if that's a thing. All right, well, Mr. Carlo, you're it. So we're gonna hire him. We then have two buses here. Remember we got our last bus here, which is this one, uh, last episode. Came free for us completing our objective. So we're gonna go back to the map here. Up on this one here, it says, uh, you know, we're going to click on it. So now you can see that this is the route that is selected. This is one. We are then going to hit the plus button down here. We're going to click on Carlo. And now he's assigned to that route. And you don't have to pick what bus. It auto the game automatically selects the bus for him to drive. So we go here. We're going to hit drive. And we're going to drive our new bus, which I believe was the BR41, right? I think. Let's just check real quick. Yeah, it was. So you can actually rename these also, as you can see, rename bus, type in the name you want and name it. So if you guys want names for the buses, let me know. I'll put them in there for you. You guys will keep them as is. So let's hit drive. We're going to drive the new bus and see how it goes. So we're just going to wait here. And here's a great helpful tip. With time, your drivers will reach your experience level and bring in more revenue. Always give the most lucrative route to your most experienced driver in order to optimize your earnings. That is correct. So when they first come in, they're not going to bring in as much money as you do because they're not as experienced as you are. Like when you do your route, you're basically a five-star bus driver. It's technically how the game kind of puts it. And when you hire in these other drivers, they come in as like one-star, two-star drivers. But eventually the higher up they go, this, you know, the better they'll get to your, uh, your thing. And we're starting out in our, uh, in our office here. This is the first time we've actually visited the office. As you can see, our office, we got some re, re something there. Re parps. Re parps. We got the boss's uh, mug. Let's take a drink. There's the bus. We're the bus. Yeah, drink up, big guy. We got a long day ahead of us. <clears throat> long day ahead of us. So there's nothing else we can touch. No more touchy. No more touchy feely. We take a look outside the window. That's really cool, though. You can see outside. But let's get uh, let's get rocking and rolling here. Here's our great old bus to two West Hill Drive is where we are headed. Look at these lights though. These lights are sick. Those are some sick lights there. But let's open up the door here. Not that one. Wrong door. This is the one we want. There it is. Let's uh, open up our bus door here. Take a hop inside. Here we are. As you can see, our bus. Basically the same as the last one. The only difference is we're a little bit longer. We actually seat less, and we seat less because there's this extra door here. So that's why uh, when you when you guys set up the game, go into your your settings here. I'll show you guys real fast. Go into the controls, 
and bind the where are we here the door one here bind it to one of the keys you want the open all all doors one bind that to a key and then you uh you should be good why mine's not bound i don't not really sure at the moment it should be bound to key four hmm there we go so mine's mine's bound to key four and then it does all of them oh i know why it's not bound that's right. It's uh, it's bound on the controller. That's why it wasn't bound in the uh, on the keyboard. So that's that. So make sure you guys do that, and then that way you guys can open up all the doors on the bus, and you can see the lights on there as well. So let's hop in the cockpit. Let's uh, start the engine. Yeah, there she is. Nice little purr. And let's turn on our lights here. One, two. Cockpit lights, cashier light, and passenger light. Let's turn off the uh, parking brake, and we should be ready to rock and roll. We'll close the door there, and yeah, door closed. Take a look there, nice. And let's head out, or not. We're not gonna head out. We're not gonna head out because I didn't put her in drive. There we go, now we're gonna head out. And off we go. Off we go, off we go, off we go. Oh, we go, lady. Yeah, you're walking too. Uh, let's try and see. I was gonna try and sneak out here. We're gonna try it. Oh, we snuck out. We snuck out of there. So we're driving to our first stop here. Uh, our other driver is basically doing the route, the other route for us at the moment. So you actually don't get to see them though, which is kind of disappointing. But it is what it is. Whoa, hey buddy. Oh, we almost didn't stop in time. Wow. Wow. There we go. All right, dude, walk across. Let's go. There you go. There you go, people. Hello. Hello. All right, let's uh, let's go. All well, those pedestrians stopped that traffic. We'll uh, head across. And we are going to make our turn here. And we're actually turning left. Ah, traffic is terrible. Nice car, dude. Nice car. Alright, let's, uh, I think we can go now. Whoa, no, we can't go. Now we can go. So we'll go here. Alright, we are now on the route on our way. Just give like an epilepsy, uh, epilepsy warning or something with the way the camera moves. Uh, no no new patches have come out. Just the one patch that's come out since release. So nothing has changed since our last time driving. The only thing different is the route that we are going on. And why are the games having us do this weird stuff? I don't know what's with those white, those like stop signs with the, uh, oh, it's a stop sign, that sign though with that yellow inside I'm not really sure I'm not familiar with the uh, German whoa what what car accident what did we hit um with the German signs so uh, we're gonna be making a left up here as long as we don't hit this dude's nice sports car I wonder what kind of cars in front of him though here we go we'll make our turn And we uh, we have a red light here. We'll make oh, we have a green now. There we go. Oh man, we hit the it's two car accidents this time. What what's going on here? I think this bus is wider than the last one. Definitely think it's a little bit wider. That or I should probably hug the uh, the center line just a little bit more. One of the two. And we're going to be pulling up to our first stop of the day here. There she is. Coming up. We'll uh, put on our directionals here. Come to a full stop. Hit our brake. Kneel the bus. Open the doors. Hello, everybody. I need to purchase a ticket. Yes, you do. One regular trip. Alright, there you go. Alright, there's three... Four and five. Thank you very much. No problem. Excuse, excuse me, sir. 
I need a ticket to the moon. To the moon? What are you, drunk? Uh... Get off my bus. Off my bus. Off my bus, dude. How do you get off my bus? I want him off my bus. Can't be on here. Sir, you gotta get off. There's the door. Hmm. There we go. There we go. We click on him. That's how we get him off. Alright, sorry about that, folks. Let's close the doors. Re unneal the bus and we'll take off here. No one else is coming, right? Nope. So away we go. That's how we do that. We have to click on the guy to get him off. Uh, you can actually pick up drunk passengers, but uh, I think it hurts your reputation a little bit, to be honest. I did it once off camera and it kind of dinged me a little bit for, uh, for, for letting the drunk person come on. But it is what it is. I was nice. This time I was not. I want to make the uh, the you know the experience pleasurable for everybody. You know. There we are, back in our way. That was a pretty wide turn though. We didn't have to go so wide. We didn't have to go so wide on that one. Hopefully we can get through this light though. Be nice. Oh, that would be nice if we could get through the light here. We've got another minute and 20 seconds to get to our next stop. It's got to be coming up soon, I would say. But maybe not. There it is, right around the corner here. Oh, look at it. It's this car again. It's this guy again. I wonder if it's the same person. There we are. Oh, stay on the uh, stay on the road there, mister. Here we are, coming up to the next stop. There we go. Nice and easy, does it? Church Street West. Hello, everybody. Alright, goodbye, folks. Hello. I need a few tickets, please. Oh, a few, huh? Oh. Who's your partner that you're bringing along? There's seven, nine, and ten. Thank you. Thanks. No problem. You too. Everybody's in a great mood. We're all in a great mood. Alright, no one else, right? No one else is coming. Let's unneal the bus, close the doors. And off we go. And we're going to be making a left turn up here at the light. Look at all that traffic behind us. Wow. Is that fog? That's behind us? We can't see. It's got to be fog. We can't see all them cars back there. Oh, we got the green here. We've got the green. Nope. Oh, no, no people today. We're not running over anybody today. We're just getting into car accidents, apparently, though. Keep hitting the signs. That's all we're doing today. And here's our next stop. Ooh. That was close. It did give us perfect stopping position though. Well, look at how close we are to this curb here. That's crazy. All right, anybody coming up front here? Good day. Yeah. Regular single trip, please. No problem, regular single trip. Out of five. There's three. And five. No problem. Oh, you too. You too. All right, is this lady coming on? This lady here. Coming on? Nope. All right, no one else is coming on. Oh, look like. So let's uh, close the doors. Ah, oh, man, this one's jammed. Oh, oops, that's not what we wanted. Wanted to get out of our seat. Unlock the door. Unjam the door. And relock the door. There we go. Now let's get back in our seat. See, he got to sit down. That was cool. All right, let's unneal the bus, turn off the brake, and off we go. Because so we're we'll probably be a little bit behind schedule now for our next stop. Because of that jammed door. So we'll blame the jam on being late for our next stop. Oh, actually, we're not going to be late. It's right around the corner. 
Make sure to take all of your belongings with you. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're going to slow down here. Nice and easy. There we are. There we are. Taking a look at everything. You can see our temperature gauge has not moved. We haven't, I don't think we've had to turn up the temperature since we've uh, started doing this. No one's asked for the temperature to be changed. Who's honking back there? Shut up. We're at a red light. Oh, man. You could get out. Oh, don't make me get out of this bus. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to get out of this bus and come back there. I'll come back there with some tickets. All right, let's go. Oh, I'm waiting for this person to cross the street. Ship honking. There we go. And this is our stop right here. Our final stop on this trip. There she does it. Let's set the parking brake. We'll kneel the bus. And let everybody off. Have a good day. Thanks for riding. Thanks for riding. I have Vision Transit. Thank you very much. And that should do it for this. Let's see how we did. Alright. We, uh... Yeah, we don't care about that screen. This is the screen we care about. How you grow. Boom. I read in the news that you've been doing so well that City Hall has now given you access to the residential district. If you keep going like this, you'll get access to the modern district. That means lots of green. But now comes the hard part. You have to establish a bus line network in both the suburban and residential districts to keep the public satisfied. All right, so we finished that last objective. We are now on our new objective. As you can see, we need to have route with two bus stops in each of the unlocked districts. We need to reach a reputation of seven. We're at level four. We need to have at least three different routes. And we need to have all the bus stops be part of our route driven by you or any of my drivers. So that kind of sucks. We did not do that great. Um, our revenue was 2,900. Our other employee, which is the ad revenue, or actually the ad revenue from the other bus was 2,000. That's why you want the, the, the revenue on the other bus. Like, look at that. And then our, our revenue from our other driver is only 963. But I caused about five grand in damages for those two accidents. So we're going to have to do this one again. I'll do it again off camera so that way you guys don't have to see it. And that way we can make some more money. And we can get another driver hired up on this route. So, but we unlocked the new residential district here. And uh, next episode we'll start working on that. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Until next time guys.